Now, I talked about how stupid this damn video upload was all damn day. Now, I have been trying to upload, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six videos since 8 o'clock this morning or 10 o'clock this morning. You know when I started today. Um, this is bullshit. I never had this problem before. And it was after the fact, after I put one video up with Aretha Franklin singing, I can't even, I haven't been able to really upload a video since then. Um, not a real one, not one of substance. Um, it's pitiful. Um, there's a couple of videos I got from last week where after future soldier, soldier, blah, 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 after he retired, um, I just said forget it. I'm tired of seeing people that I actually like vanish. Um, Dave of Dave of Jay, I'm still working to find that one song I've been working. Um, Jesus, um, I found a couple of busted up cassettes too, like the mice got to them, so let's hope I don't have to repair nothing and get back off into it, but um, other than that, I have been feeling quite different the last few days. I'm not bashing nobody or, or knocking anything or being on one person's back or one person's side or, or angry or mad. I'm just at the point to where I'm tired of seeing the bullshit. Now, the day after the election, people was kissing my ass. I was getting service that I hadn't received in years. You know, I was getting respect from people. It was, like, it was like, it was a good feeling like the world had changed. And now, um, the people I know are in such flux. I mean, such dire straits. It's, it's just completely pitiful. It's, it's, it's not good. It's, People are paranoid, tripping out, flipping out. Um, you try to help people and motherfuckers is, is faulty. Uh, it's, it's straight dramas. Um, and I don't see it getting better. They can talk about the ine economic, the economic situation as much as physically possible. In other words, why are you advertising bad news? It only makes it worse. I'm serious. They talk about a handful of jobs and people doing the solar business. Okay, there's X amount of homes in America. How many of these roofs are fucking stable enough for people to get up on the roof? And in any given neighborhood or community, they have restrictions. They don't want you to have your own gas power generator running 24 7 they don't want you to have your own power off the grid they want you to create power to charge their grid why do you want to charge the grid huh why is there a big old connection of electricity when each house should be self-contained but to make your house self-contained it'll cost you all this and that now some guy fixed his car so his car can do this and that and whatever the case may be but knowing his car is so new and by him altering the engine of the car to run on water and pop rocks or whatever the fuck he can do or water sugar and water sugar and a glass of uh, vino and he got his car running but it won't pass smog now therefore come on man it's like every time a group of people come up with an idea there's some group of environmentalists or so-called people who will step forth and put forth an initiative and in the name of the environment it this initiative that they put forth is made into law because we want to save the planet there's all kind of things we can do to save the planet without putting people out of work think thinking? Are you thinking? There's a million things that we can do to help our planet and ourselves if we stop trying to figure out what is good for this group of people. 
take for instance what you do in your home there are laws that state if you got kids that you can't smoke in your house now but they ain't gonna stop cigarettes from being sold right it's against the law to smoke marijuana but they got these stores and shops that sell marijuana paraphernalia you can't have it but you can sell it where's the logic in that I'm, I, hey I don't want my smoking friends to be cut off but hey I need to explain some things what happens when alcohol alcohol can't be drinking by minors right right a minor can't buy alcohol either correct but if an alcoholic is a minor what does an alcoholic do an alcoholic will try to find a drink anywhere same thing with drugs dope things whatever cigarette smoking it's illegal for kids to smoke cigarettes right but you see a kid smoking a cigarette, but you ain't going to take him to jail for smoking a cigarette. Right? Why don't you eliminate the person making the tobacco that the kid has to smell? Smoke. Taste. You can't. It's an industry. If it wasn't for people catching cancer, they couldn't do this. They couldn't do that. They couldn't do it. So much money would be lost if people found a cure for cancer. But once again, the technology we have is created to make our lives easier. If a computer program could find the cure for AIDS and cancer, don't you know that the computer program would be sitting in the patent's office for another 300 years? If you taught a computer to survive by all means necessary, and you told this computer that it was a human body, and you put forth everything to this computer, like every bush, every shrub, every tree, every plant, every chemical makeup of everything on this planet, in this same computer, and you told this computer you're dying of AIDS. The only way you can cure yourself is to figure out what would kill the AIDS and not you. And you put this question to this computer, and the computer Two mushrooms, one marshmallow, half a cup of Pinot Grigio, a joint, and a half a teaspoon of Decon Roach Killer. Mixed. Marinated. Put underneath a rock for 16 days. Grab, mixed with water, dirt. Sift. Add 15,000 gallons of water. Boil. all the way down to exactly 15 grams of liquid. Take 0.38 grams of liquid, put on your forehead, and slap yourself three times and you're cured of everything that ails you. There'd be some guy with a baseball bat beating the shit out of that computer 15 minutes after you heard what the computer had to say. Why do we kill each other for profit Wouldn't it be in the world's best interest to have many people alive on this planet that is physically possible to be the janitors of the planet Earth? What if your only job was to make sure that your house was clean, germ-free, and all you had to do 15 hours a month, 15 hours a month, was to go work at the power plant down the street to make sure electricity was on? We need a resource-based situation. The monetary situation is not good. Like I said, you loan somebody $1,000 and they got to pay $3,000 back. It's illogical. There should be a flat rate on everything that we spend. Everything that we do should have one flat rate. That way nobody would go in debt if they only had to pay 5% period on everything they borrow. You borrow $5,000, you owe what? $5,500, $5,000, dollars back, whatever. We cannot allow ourselves to be 